Hey there, beautiful people. I wanted to chat with you for a minute about the Uranus conjunct Mercury transit that's happening today. So yesterday, I feel like I felt this energy a lot more yesterday, like I was saying, or like I said in the past, I tend to feel these, these uh, major aspects, major connection between two planets or like big shifts before they happen and then when I'm in it, it's like I'm in it, like right now we're in it, we're gonna be talking about it. And then obviously when it moves forward, you're kind of reflecting on what the fuck that was, right? So yesterday I was just in a weird, like the energy around me was, was really weird. I had this strong desire to connect. I did a few lives and was interrupted by my daughter, which is totally fine. Um, but I just like couldn't make that connection and it was just like in my head there were just so many things happening and so naturally as an astrologer I looked at the chart and was like what the fuck is going on right now so looking at the chart I saw that the sun and mercury were sandwiching Uranus so just a little information on Uranus Uranus is ruled by Aquarius or rules Aquarius it correlates to lightning, it correlates to the divine, divine mind or the higher mind, So, uh, along with so many other things, but it's main intention or desire in regard to the way it connects with us here is that it tends to want to break free any stagnant energy. So it's gonna go right to the source, whatever is um, blocking you, whatever is blocking evolution, it goes right to that source and basically fractures that system, fractures that foundation. And it's done through shock and trauma. Like it's, it, it correlates to electricity. So it's like very fast moving, unexpected, don't know what's gonna happen. And usually it's like really, really, like, okay, it's not really, really intense, but usually there's some intensity to it to some degree. And it could be rather ground shaking or groundbreak, or yeah, groundbreaking, ground shaking, same thing, right? Um, and so, with Uranus being in Taurus currently, the last time Uranus was in Taurus was during the Great Depression. And so Uranus in Taurus will, wherever Uranus is, whatever sign and house it's in, it tends to accelerate the energy and the evolutionary process of that house and sign. And so having Uranus in Taurus, it, it's accelerating and breaking through any outda outdated foundations in regard to um, you know, resources, our connection to our resources, what we need to survive, um, you know, what we value, things of that nature. And it's all stemming to or connecting to survival instincts. That's Taurus. That's the bare essence of Taurus is how do I survive? How do I sustain myself? And so looking at the chart today, and I have this here on my computer, um, we still have the sun what now the sun is at 10 degrees of Taurus of Taurus so it's still in this new phase or it's still it's still on this one side of of Uranus because really Uranus relates to the sun um, because everything comes back to the sun as well or everything revolves around the sun but that's more technical than you probably need to know um, but pretty much we still have this this releasing shedding but also starting a new kind of energy in regard to how we creatively express ourselves and creatively actualize our intentions and um it's really pulling us to the value systems that we've been creating or that we've been restructuring within our lives since you know for a while now and so how do we we're on a point where it's like how do i actually start to like really put this out there how do i like creatively actualize this this foundation that I that I intend to sustain and so then with mercury conjunct Uranus we have mercury which is that logic and reason that left brain and you have Uranus which is like the higher octave of mercury and so with Uranus Uranus we're going to connect to the cosmic energy it's it's that quantum connection that it correlates to quantum energy so it's like everything's kind of happening at once, like time, or what is time? Time breaks down. So it's like everything's happening at once and this can kind of overwhelm Mercury in a way, especially since we're trying to really stabilize our, our value system, stabilize our intentions right now. And so 
Mercury and Uranus, it, it's it's really fast moving energy. So you might tend to be in a place where you're you might be overthinking, you know, your decisions, your intentions, your actions. Um, and it's it's hard. It might be hard to connect um, as in regards to communicating. Um, as far as Mercury's other correlations, such as seeing the weak links within your environment, this might be a time where you're starting to get these aha moments. You're seeing this one thing or this person or just like this relationship. There's continual mis inter, mis um, miscommunications, interactions of miscommunication, or just not on the same wavelength right now you might get an aha moment where you actually see where that weak point is, where that missing link is, and then you'll be able to heal that, hopefully, and work through that. And so a lot of us also, I've realized, I've been connecting with a lot of you, and I'm so grateful. I've been seeing that a lot of people are feeling that call to like really make a big shift, take a leap of faith. And so for you guys that are feeling that um, right now, take that leap of faith because right now, like I said, it's there's so much energy going on that you might be getting caught up in your head, especially we have Mercury, where's Mars here on this chart? Mars is in Aquarius and I, I'm pretty sure Mar Mercury and Mars are making a very small, a minor square to each other. They're getting ready to actually square each other once Mercury gets to um, towards the end of its transit in Taurus. But that's going to really bring a little bit of challenges in regard to like trusting your instincts and being able just to like communicate or move through and act on your instincts. Communicate. So it's going to dealing with communications. It's dealing with writing. It's dealing with um, seeing and even being able to heal and fix, you know, some kind of system, something within yourself, something within your daily routine. Because we have to also bring in that factor of the Virgo aspect of Mercury. So how you choose to be of service is going to be something that is going to be coming up too as well and communicating what your values are, what you need in regard to being of service. So we see this as well within just the climate of uh, the United States and I'm sure all over, all over the world. We see that it's like, okay, how can I be of service? Like even in the healthcare um the the medical facilities like they're running out of resources it's like how can i be of service if i don't have the things that i need to take care of myself first so i can help others you know and make sure that things run smoothly and we're all you know being responsible and being smart so that will be coming up too as far as communicating what you need communicating whether it be like actually talking or writing um I've seen a lot of my magical friends uh, really getting into writing and I'm, I'm so here for it and I love it. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out that's happening right now, we have the, the lunar nodes are right at that zero degree mark and they're going to be moving into uh, Gemini and Sagittarius May 5th. So that's what, five or six days. And so right now I feel that we are like really shedding. It's like we're really having to sit with this Capricorn Cancer archetype that we've been experiencing for the past year and a half or so where we are really having to sit with our conditioning, sit with our the structures that we created in our life and see really does this provide emotional self-reliance do i feel safe and secure where i'm at right now do i feel am i putting my am i putting too much of my power outside of myself and am i too vulnerable or am i not vulnerable enough so right now we are at the point where we're reflecting on on that sorry that um that those circumstances within our, within our life so as gemini as the nose move into south no being in sagittarius and North Node being in Gemini, we're going to be really sitting with our perspectives and what is truth, what is reality. You know, like people have brought to my attention about the government acknowledging, you know, um, the existence of UFOs. Like uh, a lot of us, we already knew that. We already knew there was intelligent life out there, obviously, and they knew, but there was this veil that was already always there. So now things are coming out into the open and we're seeing things for what they are and it's kind of like, well, what's true, what's not? And we're looking at these diversity of truths to find, you know, or these diversity of perspectives to find what is that 
that unity there? Where's that, that oneness? You know, because there's truth, from my perspective, there's truth in all things. And I have this strong desire, being that I have this Scorpio rising, I'm like, I have to really find that truth. Like, where is that? Like, that's where my energy goes. I, I need to know. I just need to know. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I am really excited that I'm almost done setting up this big foundational course for spiritual astrology that I will be sharing with you guys. And then I'll have a bunch of other classes, practices in regard to tarot, astrology, channeling and mediumship, sacred geometry, um, casting circle rituals or ritual circles or, you know, um, I used to facilitate circles. So facilitating circles um, and things of that nature, so much to talk about, so much to offer. And I am going to open up this community um, to everyone, for everyone that I connect with, to connect with each other. There's so much um, fun stuff and exciting things that I have coming through. So if you wanna stay connected and updated, definitely sign up for my email list and you can do that via the link in the bio or if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, the link here in the description below. But have a great day guys, happy Thursday and we will talk soon.